So this morning I watched the Uncharted movie, and this morning I forgot about the Uncharted. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Before we get started, click on that red subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know every time I post a new piece of content. Okay, let's talk a little bit about video game adaptations, which have been hit or miss over the years and mostly miss. I believe I've reviewed three video game adaptations on this channel in the last couple years. Super Mario Brothers, Mortal Kombat, and Sonic the Hedgehog. I think Sonic the Hedgehog is probably the best of those. Super Mario Brothers is bad, but not as bad as I remember. And I really actually enjoyed Mortal Kombat a lot. And I criticized Warner Brothers, but I think they really did get that one right for the most part, despite having, you know, a human block of wood as your lead character. Um, so that's my thoughts on like the most recent, you know, two of the most recent video game adaptations and then one of the original, one of the OG older ones. And um, other than that, we haven't had many good ones. You know, we've had Resident Evil, We've had a ton of those movies. You know, we've had Street Fighter. We've had two other Mortal Kombat movies, one of which was absolutely atrocious. Uh, we've had, I think, two or three Tomb Raider films. And I, they've all been various levels of mediocre and, and really not a whole lot better than that. Uh, we've also had, you know, mixed in there, Yu Bull, the director who has directed some of the very worst movies ever made, movies like Postal and Alone in the Dark and House of the Dead, and he's just, you know, he's a hack director, director who collected pay, a paycheck in the, in the, in the 90s and the aughts, and his movie, you know, it was, it was kind of like a running joke. These movies are just trash and everybody knows it. They're not even trying to make a decent movie. They're just making a movie uh, with as little effort put into it as humanly possible. Uh, Far Cry, I think he did the Far Cry movie too, and it's just none of that, none of that turned out well, to say the least. So the Uncharted movie has been kicking around for a while, and Sony is kind of the king of the castle when it comes to narrative-driven first-party games, right? In the last, you know, couple dec decades, we've had uh, the Uncharted series was awesome as, as video game series, you know. Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and 4 spread out. All those games are great. And the original Uncharted kind of saved the PlayStation 3 at the time. And its two sequels are even better. I think the first one is... Okay, I think the first one is good. I don't love the first one. I like it. I think the second one is fantastic. And I think the third one is just as good as the second one. And I think I adore the fourth one specifically because of the story, despite the fact that I think it goes a little bit too heavy on the platforming and really doesn't nail it when it comes to the, like, the gunplay and the hand-to-hand -hand stuff. So take what you will from that. I love the Uncharted games. I think Naughty Dog is a, Naughty Dog is a fantastic studio. I think what they've done with The Last of Us and The Last of Us uh, Part Two are, are are really good overall. I think the first game is is superior, but I like those games too. God of War, you know, Sony Santa Monica hit a home run with that, and then the sequel is coming out later this year. So they really know what they're doing when it comes to combining great narrative with great gameplay. And if you're going to do a movie, you kind of have to capture both of those things. You have to figure out, you know, what is the essence of the gameplay in a movie form, and also how do we take this massive story and condense it down. You know, it's easy for a game like Mortal Kombat or Super Mario, or I'm sorry, um, Sonic because the gameplay is, is what those games are about, right? Mortal Kombat has a story, and a lot of people are super into it, so don't get pissed off if I'm going to dunk on Mortal Kombat a little bit, but I don't care about the story in those games. It's just filler for the combat and the fighting. Um, and it's the same, you know, Super Mario, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't really have you know, the games are a cheesy story that's just an excuse for the gameplay. And so the Uncharted movies are different, right? And God of War is different. Those games really nail the story, and it's a huge part of what makes the games and those universes come to life. So this movie was kicked around for a while. Ruben Fleischer, who you probably know did the first Venom way back when he did Zombieland. He's kind of a middling hack director he does like 90 minute movies that are like you know quick in and out and as soon as you walk out of the theater you forget about it i think zombie land was super hyped up and a little bit overrated um and i thought venom was was dumb and silly and goofy and it was fine uh and so i didn't have high expectations for this based on the director um based on the fact that mark Wahlberg seems completely miscast as sully and i'll get to that and then I think Tom Holland is just way too young to play this part. The movie starts off, and this is just not a good movie. 
the film starts off with flashback of super duper young Nathan Drake and his brother Sam. And Nate is, it's weird because he's like young, but then Tom Holland is really young. So I don't really know why they did this flashback with a younger actor who's really doesn't seem like he's, that he's that much younger in the flashbacks. I'll just put it that way. And, um, and this, this has been done before. You know, we've gotten all of this backstory about Sam and Nate's relationship. We've gotten the backstory about how Sully met Nate. And so we've had that entire thing, a part of a huge fleshed out story of, you know, 40, 50 plus hours of gameplay spread out. And, and those games nailed the story. You know, I think, the, I think they have such a complete character arc from the flashback sequences through present day Nate, his relationship with, you know, Elena, who becomes his wife, and then their marital troubles, and then the eventual, like, resolution at the end. And those games are fantastic. And I, I think a lot of people were worried when they came back to do Uncharted 4 that they would have maybe lost a step because the world of The Lost of Us was so dark. Would they be able to come back to Uncharted and still capture that, like, upbeat, fun magic of the games? And, and the fact is, they did for Uncharted 4. And so this, this, this doesn't really seem like it needs to exist. Tom Holland is, is fine. This isn't really a physical... I mean, despite all of the running and jumping and, and sliding under things and jumping over things, this isn't really a physical role because he's not punching dudes. He's not shooting dudes. He's not doing any of the things you do in the gameplay um, of the Uncharted game. So I'm going to spoil the story a little bit. And it just it doesn't capture any of the magic of the games. And part of that is the casting. I think Mark Wahlberg is a decent enough actor, but a terrible Sully. He's just, it's just like this nonstop snark quips back and forth between the two characters, and that's like their entire relationship. And he's kind of an unlikable douchebag. And I just don't, I, I guess I care a little bit about Nate and where his story goes, but Sully's a super important character in the Uncharted world, and I don't care about him at all. And it's a real, it's a real letdown and it's a disappointment. And there's some characters that resemble other characters from the games and some of like the stories from the games carry over a little bit in some of the set pieces here. And it, it just, none of it works. The ending sucks. There's a scene where, and I'm going to spoil it, but there's a scene where they go to find like the long lost pirate ship filled with gold. And in, in the games, it would be, you know, like, a multi-hour sequence where Nate is like going underground and being stabbed in the back and he's jumping off cliffs and he's swinging on ropes and he's shooting the bad guys and he's inserting, you know, magical keys into things. And in the and in the movie, he like has a map and then he has these two keys that are crosses and he like figures out that if you remove the jewel from the side of the cross, you can like stab it into the paper, which isn't explained or at all and has no it just doesn't make any sense. And then he like puts the ends of the crosses together and it marks a spot on the map, which doesn't make any sense either. And then he just goes there and there's, he's like in the water in a boat after tricking, you know, the girl who betrays them into going to the wrong coordinates. He like goes around the corner and he's in the water and there's just this cave that's wide open. And he just goes in the cave and finds these pirate ships filled with gold. There's no adventure. There's no action. There is a little bit at the end with the chase sequence when they drag him out with helicopters, but it's just like, like, what did you even bought? Why did you even bother having this last act of the movie if it was going to be so underwhelming? And it just it doesn't capture any of the the magic of of the games, and uh, it's disappointing because Sony should know better. They're capable of making these incredible narrative story driven games that have awesome gameplay, and this movie is just doesn't capture the essence of any of that in its characters and its direction. Even in its action to a certain extent, this is a super duper lukewarm and way too young version of, of Nathan Drake. And it's a real disappointment because the games are awesome and the movie had a lot of potential if they had cast it properly and gotten a decent script, but they didn't do any of those things. So this was way too little, too late. It's going to get a sequel. There's things with Sam that are completely like unexplained and he's, if they make a, a sequel, he's coming back. Like he's... He's supposed to be dead, but he's coming back in the sequel. It's just inevitable. And in and they didn't make a good movie. They made a movie to set up another movie, and even this movie is is just not good. So, uh, yeah, that's Uncharted. Real bummer, real disappointment. 
not super stoked on this one. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, found it helpful, uh, consider subscribing, please. You can also like and share the video. That tells the powers that be that it's worth promoting. And you can follow me on my social media. I don't, I'm not super active on um, my Instagram, but I kind of want to be at Real Hometown Zero. Follow me on IG and hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Am I way off base? Is Sully, is Mark Wahlberg like an incredible Sully? Because I, I just don't see it. And I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m.